Hello and welcome back to another day of the Daily 5 at 10, your daily 5-ish minute FLA update. I'm your host, Jasmine Chan. And I'm Zeke Samoy. Today is Wednesday, November 2nd. It's every given Wednesday, which means that it's another given last minute. The dynamic duo of Edward Chinny Chin Durrents and Eric Walcott are back to showcase their love for NFL football while simultaneously trashing the Cowboys. You know, Jasmine, I feel like the football pool kind of stresses me out more than it should. I never know which team's going to win. Well, isn't that the point that you don't know who's going to win? Anyway, that's not good, Zeke. It's supposed to be a fun thing for us all. Yeah, well, since today is National Stress Awareness Day, I figured that today would be a good start to address it and be more mindful of it. Glad to hear it, Zeke. But we should also be more mindful of how we only have five-ish minutes for the show. So this is Last Minute. This is Last Minute with Edward Durrett and Eric Walcott. Hey, what's up? And happy Wednesday, SLA, and welcome to another episode of The Last Minute, the show dedicated to, as you know, NFL football. Woo, happy Wednesday, Eric. Wow, what a week of football. Ooh. There was so much going on. Mm. So much throwing. Throwing. So much running. Running. So much scoring. Scoring. It was unbelievable. A, man, a lot of scoring, except for one team. Did you see the Raiders game? Moment yeah. of silence. Mm. Mm. All right, Ooh. that's embarrassing, but better <laughs> luck next week, Las Vegas. Mm. But respect to the 49ers and McCaffrey. The mm. 49ers' newfound golden nugget <laughs> got a hat trick with one rushing touchdown, one passing touchdown, and a receiving touchdown. That was a nice stat line for anyone on uh, that has him on his fantasy football team. Agreed. You know, I, I, you know, the man, he played well, and I got to give him some props, but let's just see what happens. <laughs> But uh, I do want to ask you something, though, and um, can I use a quick, quick question real quick, man? Mm -hmm. How did Brady do last week? Um, <laughs> yeah, at least the Cowboys lost, right? They totally lost. The scourge of humanity was defeated. No, nah, yeah, they didn't lose last week, man. They actually won. And my Giants, we didn't win either, man. But you know, I can't say anything, but it's cool. We'll we'll be better after our bye week. We um. We'll be well-rested and ready to play at whichever team comes up next. Nice, okay, well, respect. Speaking of playing, let us play our weekly game of SLA Core Value Recap. Hey. Our first core value is Motivated, which the Miami Dolphins showed against the Detroit Lions, winning 31 to 27. Mm. Tua has recovered from that awful concussion, mm. it's really bad, oof, and has pulled through to connect with the amazing wide receiver, Jalen Waddle, who is famous for the waddle. <laughs> Our second is collaborative. Now, this was a tough one, man, because so many teams played well this week, but I got to go with the Atlanta Falcons. They pulled off an overtime win against Carolina, uh, the Panthers, 37-34, uh, and they're now leading the division. Uh, for now. And finally, we have Knowledge Able, which the Pittsburgh Steelers did not show uh, at all mm -mm. while getting crushed by A.J. Brown and the Philadelphia Eagles, 13-35. Even my Steel City chap, Kenny Pick Six Picket, would agree with me. He was quoted about how the Steelers need to study more. So come on, Steelers, be more knowledgeable. You have to stop it with this this Kenny Pick Six thing, man. He is not. He isn't the future, and he's he's below average quarterback. What? You have to relax with that, what? man. How dare you? <laughs> no, Eric, I cannot. I will not betray him like that. When I stick to someone, I am with them to the end, unless they lose three games in a row and are clearly no longer playing well after coming out of retirement. You know, it's ironic, man. Um, I do know of a player who came out of a 30-day retirement just so he can come back and lose three games in a row. Nope. Nope. Hey, come on, man, let's just be honest. <laughs> Unlike the first Star Wars movie, A New Hope, there is no hope for you, is there, man? Not, not, you know no. what I'm saying? <laughs> There's none. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to move along. Um, I don't want to talk about, uh, you know, let's talk about the anticipated uh, games coming up in week nine. Oh, thanks so for asking, Eric. <laughs> Thank you. My anticipated game of the week is the Sunday night game between the Tennessee Titans and the Kansas City Chiefs. I want to see Derrick Henry banish another man's soul on national television with his epic stiff arm. So what is your favorite game of the week? Well, what I was going to say. Um, I'm looking forward to the Bills and the Jets game. You know, Allen is on a roll. He's pushing his team close and close to the playoffs. And the Jets, five and three, you know, no one's seen that coming. So that should be a good game, good game right there. Now, as a last minute reminder, uh, this week's nine pick sheet will be sent out today. And remember, they must be turned in by tomorrow at noon. 
So with that being said, it's time to announce this week's winner. Um, e, would you do the honors for me, man? Uh, of course. And the winner of week eight is Jennifer Batista. Hey. Hey. Congrats. You just won yourself a $25 Visa gift card. Congratulations to you, Jennifer. Good job. Well, that's... So this about wraps it up over here. I want to thank you, the SLA fans, for continuing to support and watch the show. Um, we've been getting a lot of good feedback, and we really want to thank everyone for tuning in. And I can't believe we're halfway through the season, and I can't wait for the playoffs, man. Ooh, yeah, halfway. Flies. Yeah. It's flying by. Yeah. But thank you, everyone, and we really appreciate it. And remember, the Cowboys think they won the Super Bowl after defeating the 3-5 <laughs> and five Chicago Bears, which nobody cares about. No one cares. Back to you, Zeke and Jasmine. Thank you as always to our last minute crew, Eric Walcott and Edward Ch -ch -ch Chia Durantz. Hey Zeke, I have a question for you. What did the football coach say to the vending machine? What? Give me my quarterback. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but anyway, uh, let's just move on to what's going on in the SLA. Benefits open enrollment has begun. The open enrollment period for the 2023 plan year will end on November 7th. For 2023, the SLA is maintaining all 2022 medical, dental, and vision plans, as well as keeping employee contributions the same as 2022. Stay tuned for any updates. Our retirement plan provider will change to Capital Group, home of American Funds, effective December 9th. The next upcoming training meeting to learn about the platform will be on Thursday, December 8th at 11 a.m. So please check your inbox for any updates. Our CE course, The Ethical Edge for Insurance Professionals with Chris Bamer is happening on November 9th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Please speak with your manager if you would like to attend. And now it's time to move on to the final quarter of the show. See what I did there? No, please not again. It's the Daily Gift Away. So, what's today's National Daisy? Jasmine, today is National Stress Awareness Day. Oh, today's winner will also receive a $25 Visa gift card to put towards anything that will relieve your stress. So, what causes you stress? Well, lots of things cause me stress. My credit card bill, rent. What about you? Trolls. Really? Trolls? Like, do trolls exist? Why do they only live under bridges? When do they get a world tour? And how do they always end up at the end of the rainbow? It just... Wait, aren't those leprechauns? Anyways, trolls this, trolls that. I'd say another thing about that completely stressed me out is only picking one winner out of the names jar. <laughs> well, let's pick a winner today, shall we? That I can believe. <laughs> let's do it. Just one winner. Please don't be a troll. Derek Chuang! Congratulations! Into the winner's jar you go. And don't forget to email us at 5 at 10 at slaycow.com to claim your prize or if you have any comments or questions about the show. And with that, replacing your daily work coffee break, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Zeke. Thank you. And good night. Um, Ed, did you hear my phone vibrate? No, never. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yay. Professional. Quiet, you. <laughs>